Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids and adults, recruits and veterans, wizards and muggles, ranger veterans and psychotic slayers, filthy elves and salty salads, to yet another video. Now, what's going on guys, Party Knife here, with uh, a little miniature video. Now, there will be another video later today, but uh, here's the thing. Originally, I wasn't going to talk about the most recent patch, patch 3.3, but I thought we would go through it nonetheless after making a little uh, little discovery, a little a little hint of why, what might be to come. So, uh, anyways, let's uh, dive right into it. Let's put it over there. Now, it doesn't mention this in the patch notes. Like, primarily these pat uh, this patch, was mostly just a couple of fixes, a few uh, a few sort of life improvements for the game, as well as uh, patrols being aggroed by uh, lamp, oil fire, uh, lamp oil fire now, which uh, I actually always wondered why they didn't, and I always found, found that to be kind of strange, but uh, so that makes sense. But there weren't really any major changes, right? But here's the thing. Let's dive into Vermin Diet on the modded realm here. Now uh, I got my uh, my salty zealot, salty zealot in the house here, and I noticed something. Because if you have a mod that gives you all items in the game, sometimes they will sneak in things that haven't yet, like that they they haven't yet unveiled on the official realm, but you'll still like they'll put it in the game files so you can obtain it on the modded realm. And there's a new set of really interesting... No, I like it over here. There's a new uh, set of really interesting hats that have come out. As you can see here, a bunch of Megalodon shark hats. Now, uh, something I was curious about is that there, there's exactly nine of them. Nine. That doesn't really square... Well, if you look at a sort of heroes, a hero selection... How would you square nine of them across five heroes? Uh, I've confirmed that uh, there's definitely two dwarf hats so far, three elf hats, I think two salt spire hats. The, I'm not sure if any of them are for Sienna. That was kind of hard to confirm. And the ones for salt spire, I think, also fit for Cooper because they have, roughly speaking, the same uh, the same head size. But you can see there are, first of all, there are two giant ones. There are two really, uh, let's see, which, that that one, these two. As you can see, they're like way larger than all the other ones. And they only fit Bardi in. Plus they have his little sort of hoodie underneath for the Ranger Veteran. So I'm pretty sure these two are for the Dwarf. Then you have three hats that look to be for Carillion. Like this face mask is identical to Shade's face mask. So I'm pretty sure this one is for Shade. This one... I think is for Carillion, uh, for uh, the Handmaiden, most likely. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure uh, it's for the Handmaiden. And then you have this one, which looks to be for uh, Waystalker. Maybe I should actually have picked another hero. It doesn't appear that clear on this guy, but whatever. You'll, uh, you'll have to make do. Now, so I think this one is for Waystalker. Then you have uh, a couple that fit perfectly on Saltspire. Here we have one. But this one, I'm pretty sure, would also fit for Krooper. So, or maybe even Sienna. So I'm actually not entirely sure which ones these are for, but overall, I think that it's a pretty dope hat, right? I mean, and it doesn't seem to be a purchase one. Like, I don't know that for a fact, but it doesn't seem to be a purchase one simply because it's it spans so many classes. It seems more likely to be an, an unlockable of some sort, perhaps even in combination with an event if on... Um, Oh, a quiet drink, you know, the, the map where you have to drink alcohol. I could imagine that, that there's going to be another event of some sort coming up, uh, including a quiet drink or maybe even a new map. Who knows? Like, this is all speculation, just to be clear. I don't know. But uh, you have the obese megalodon in that event. And uh, that sort of fits with, uh, with this hat. It's also called the obese megalodon. So it's definitely a reference to that tavern. And, uh, and yeah, I don't know, I just thought I'd make a little tiny uh, tiny video about it and let you guys know that this, these hats are coming up. So what do you guys think? Are you excited? <laughs> um, so hopefully they won't 
be too long for the next update because I remember seeing the patch 3.3 and don't get me wrong it was a, it was a good patch but you know I was kind of excited to make another sort of news video and then I saw the patch notes and was like nah, I didn't really have enough to talk about for it to be worth it but this gave me a good excuse to do just that and I'll do the same when the next patch arrives and hopefully soon they'll release a new DLC my best guess is that they're gonna release the new DLC in November. It's been confirmed that they're gonna release it in uh, 2020, right? So it's gonna be this year. And all of the major game releases are gonna be in November. And it makes sense to do it in November, right? It gives sort of, it's right before Christmas, but it's not, you know, so close to Christmas that you don't have time to purchase it, right? So you, you have that extra, extra buffer of, uh, of payment so that's why people release it in November. That's because then you get paid on the 1st of December or however it works in your country. And then, you know, you have the money to buy it as a present. So, um, so that, that's my, my best guess. And uh, it's probably also gonna come with a new class. I'm pretty sure they said that it was also gonna be a new class uh, in 2020, which again, this is pure speculation. I don't know this for a fact, but my best guess is that it's gonna be either Sienna or Bardeen. And uh, my Bardeen guess is based on nothing but keeping, you know, it would look the best, you know, going from top to bottom. It would make sense UI-wise to do that. But when they released the Grail Knight, they argued that uh, they had done that on the basis of Krooper being the least played hero. And if you go by that logic, then Sienna would be the next one. So uh, most likely going to be one of these two. Just guesses. I don't know. Again, just speculation. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later in the uh, Hill Scourge Onslaught video Fridays with Party Knife, whatever you want to call it. I haven't figured out a name for that video yet. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I love you guys. Stay awesome. Peace out.